Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 11.13 has been released. And just like all of the new LaunchBox and Big Box releases, we got a lot of new fixes and there are a ton of new fixes with this one. New improvements and some awesome new features. And in this video, we're going to be going over the new features. If you're interested in checking out the new improvements and fixes, I will leave a link to the changelog in the description, and it might be something worth reading through. So definitely check that out. All right, so on to the first new premium feature. This might sound simple to some people, and in theory, I guess it really is, but it's something that will come in really handy. If we take a look down here in the system tray for Windows, you can see that we now have a LaunchBox icon, and this can be enabled or disabled. So if I minimize this, I can just use the system tray to launch it back up. But if I right click, it'll actually give me a list of different options. We can show LaunchBox, which we just did. You can just double click on it. We can quit LaunchBox. And it's also going to give us a list of the games that we've previously played. So if I just want to quick launch a game, I can use the system tray to do that. Like I said, it might sound simple to some people, but this is going to come in really handy. Now this will need to be enabled for premium users, and in order to do it, we're going to head to the drop down, tools, options, and at the very top under general, we have system tray. The first option here, always show system tray icon. We can also set it up to just minimize to the system tray if you'd like to, and show notification when LaunchBox has been sent to the system tray. So I'm just going to choose OK, and you can mess around with these settings here, whatever you prefer. But I've set it up to only minimize to the system tray, so uh, if I go like this, we no longer have the icon over here. We also get that message, and if we want to quick start a game that we've previously played, we can do it from here. Really cool little feature. When it comes to the next new premium features, these all have to do with Big Box, and we'll jump in there in a second. But the first one here, sound packs for Big Box can now support multiple sounds per sound type. And we'll definitely take a look at that. Next on the list here, Big Box themes now support their own sound packs and they can be packaged with the theme. So in the future, once uh, developers start jumping on this, when we download our themes and install it, a lot of developers may choose their own sound packs to go with said theme. And uh, this will be pretty cool. It's just another little customization feature for each theme. And I wanted to give you a quick look or listen here. While I'm scrolling through, uh, for my scroll action, I have one sound. It's great that we have sounds, and this could always be customized to a single sound per action. But uh, now, with the newest update, if we head into our options, scroll down to sounds, from our sound pack, I have just a demo, multiple sound pack here. I'll enable this, back up. And you might notice that I have a different sound for every time I do an action here. And this is just a demo pack. I mean, you can add two sounds per action. You can add 100 sounds per action. It's really up to you and the theme developers. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And I can't wait to see what the developers really do with these extra sounds and their themes. This is going to be really great. Another new premium feature that's been added to Big Box is the option to require holding back to navigate to the system menus. So a lot of times when I'm messing around with Big Box, I always end up in this menu right here, our system menu, just by pressing back trying to get out of a console or a system area. With this new feature enabled, we'll have to hold that button so we just can't uh, easily get back in here by accident. And in order to enable it, we're going to go to Options, General, and at the very bottom here, we have a new option, require holding back to navigate to system menu. So if I turn this on and I want to back out of here, let's just go kind of deep here. We'll just go into uh, one of these games, back, back, back. I'm not going back to my uh, system menu. So I know this is the end of my screen. This is where I want to be. If I hold it, It'll bring us to the system menu. And, you know, in the past, I've got frustrated coming back here, you know, just trying to exit out of a game. I didn't want to go to the system menu. I was trying to go to a different system, but I'd always end up at this section. So I think that's definitely a welcome change. And the final new premium feature that's been added to Big Box 11.13 is a system menu button that we can map to our keyboard or our controller. So from within options, if we're using a controller, we can go to controller mappings. And at the very bottom here, View System Menu. This can be mapped to any button. That way you can set up a specific key to come to the menu. And we also always have that ability to hold Escape as long as it's enabled. This option is also available under Keyboard Mappings. 
So we can set this to a specific key, and I've got mine set to V on my keyboard. So if I'm out of here, I can't go back to the menu unless I hold escape because I have that option enabled. But if I press V, it'll bring me back. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely a welcome change to LaunchBox 11.13. Like I mentioned, there's lots of improvements and fixes, so if you're interested in reading through the change log, I will leave a link in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you using LaunchBox and BigBox and hope you like this release. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.